We are a few weeks away from the first Buffalo Bills season since the passing of superfan Ezra Castro. The man we knew as Pancho Bila died this spring after bravely battling cancer. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementri shows us tonight, a new book will keep his memory alive. With the mask, without the mask, you know, that was just Ezra. Who we, that's a person who he was. And he didn't need a mask for to have superpowers. The legacy of Ezra Castro, better known as Pancho Bila, continues on, this time in the form of a book. And I feel like he's still with us every step. Rosalind Kazmaier is a family friend and a Buffalo-based children's author. Now she's penning a story called Poncho Power. It all started last November with this Facebook message. Hey, so seriously, I had a dream that I had a children's book out. Kazmaier joined forces with Buffalo native and illustrator Michael Biondi after Poncho introduced the two. It's like I felt so honored to be somebody that he would call for that. He could have called any artist. Biondi and Kazmaier worked with Poncho up until he passed away in May, following a long battle with cancer. The two were able to show him the early stages of the book before he died. A lot of people reached out to him and gave him that inspiration as he inspired others. He wants this book to continue to do that. Even after his passing, Pancho's children continue to read to him. This is his son just a few weeks ago. Oh, they're going to love it. He's going to want to read it every night. He's going to want to read it to him. I'm waiting and I'm just... I'm just waiting for that moment. The hope is to have the book done for the home opener, where Poncho's beloved Bills will honor his memory, a dream come true for Poncho. He's with us, and his spirit's going to live on. And that was the whole point of this whole book, is his legacy will still live on. Now, the book called Poncho Power is already up for pre-sale with hopes of this book coming out for the Bills home opener where Ezra will be honored. Now, we have all of that information. We will have it on our website, WKBW.com and our WKBW app. Live in the studio tonight, Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.